G'day, Nathan from Paddlefish Tasmania here. Just heading out through Lowestoft Bay on the Derwent River. Today is almost the perfect day for hunting some of the southern black brim that inhabit this area. We've got a little bit of sun poking through, almost no wind and a dropping tide. Now as you've seen before, Cameron joins me on a lot of these trips. He's been out recently and caught some really good fish. I've also made a couple of trips myself. The first one, as you're about to see, not so good. Ah oh, well, we're still battling. I doubt you can hear much of it. Still trying to catch fish. The second trip was a little bit better. We did manage one good fish, but in some pretty hectic conditions. It's an absolute monster. That is huge. Well, unbelievable. Hopefully today, with the ideal weather, we'll get onto a few of the monsters that live in this area. Let's see how we go. Well, that is a solid fish, whatever that is. Picked up on the troll. It is pulling hard. I'd say we've snagged ourselves a brim by the way he's head down. Now, he's being hard to pull up, though. I do have a second line out, which is going to cause problems. Just get this guy away from the edges. It might be okay. He hasn't woken up yet. He doesn't really know it's hooked and he's near the mirage drive. This is difficult under the boat. That's more like the run we want from a brim. You can see him out there. Oh, good fight. It's a solid little fish. Now he won't be done yet and he will use his bag of tricks to get us hooked on the boat. We'll guide him to the net and see what we can see. Come on, guy. You should net pretty easy from there. And there we go. That's a good, healthy southern black brim taken trolling just at the front of Lowestoft Bay. So getting lots of little taps, just couldn't quite. Oh, hook up. There it goes. <laughs> Followed that all the way to the boat too, which is good. Not quite target species, but fish on. Oh, there it is. I knew something was following. It just took a little twitch to get it to take the lure. The trolling's a really effective way of fishing the derwent because you can just cover some ground. Eee! We know what that is by the jump. Yeah, so if you can just troll around and you just find patches of fish. The brim don't mind trolling as well though. They do come up a bit better on the cast. So we'll bring this guy in and send him on his way. Taps on this second rod out wide and got him. That'll be another salmon by the feel. Another small fish. He was just tapping away. Hey, good jump. It's always a bit of fun. They do not mind a bit of surface action, much like the trout. They are a trutter, part of that trout family, and that's why they're a really good fun fish to target. They certainly put on the acrobatics at times. Again, just another small one. I've got the little clear hawk out. I can feel a few touches. They're left and right. And got him. Nope, missed him. Might be long to their back though, because they are everywhere. Oh! Takes it at the boat. The school of salmon is certainly thick here. Every time I move the lure, you get half a dozen come up at once like that. There he goes. It's tremendous fun sight fishing for salmon on cranker lures. Alright, so. I just put the camera on the pole to uh, film some underwater footage of some salmon and I went to try along and I've been absolutely smacked by a brim. He's just out the side. We'll uh, bring him around and see if we can get some underwater footage for you. Alright, 
to the back to trolling again. I reckon we picked up a bigger salmon this time. We're just out the front of the ramp for the Mona Ferry. And that's Mona. Just up and alongside us there with the executive accommodation. No, what we've picked up is a tailor. Now these guys have been about only this year. They're good fun to catch, they fight well. And it's the first time I've seen them in this system, so it's good to get a whole different bunch of fish. And they're getting bigger too. This is probably about the fifth or sixth I've caught. And he's certainly the biggest of the lot. All right, we're trolling again. It's changed out to a clear cranker. And that was a big, big hit as we troll. I'm just gonna have to move the boat around now. That's the problem. It definitely feels like a brim. It's gotta be a brim of that sort of run. Yep, you can see it come up at the back now. It's a good fish. I'd say it came out from under that pontoon. It's just getting down deep. So they do. Drag set pretty tight. That's a that's a good size fish. Oh, and they always run really hard too. That's what makes them so good to catch in the Derwent. They do get a lot bigger than this, but even the little ones in the 20s, like this guy here, fight really hard. Now he may be in spawn or he's eating a lot because that's a big fat stomach on it. Oh, getting a bit premature with the netting. He's about done. We'll pop him in the net. Oh, come on. In the net properly. And good fish. All right, we're on again. We've just gone across a patch of reef I know produces good fish. And I'm just holding the rod up high just to clear it away from those rocks. And as I've done that, I've hooked up. And I don't know if this fish is big or whether he's got me down on those rocks, but no, judging by that big flush out the back, he's just a big fish. And I'm gonna have to go after him because he looks really big. So he's come off the back of that reef by the looks of it. And I don't know if he knows if he's hooked yet. Drag's a bit light for it. Now he looks like an absolute dinner plate in the water and I don't think he knows he's hooked and he's probably going to take off. There he goes, first little pulsing run. That is a very, very big Derwin brim. Now he may not do much or he may just go late. Because that is a very, very big fish. I don't want to rush the net because I think he's got plenty left in him. He's one big powerful fish. Oh. I'm very keen to get the net underneath him but I just don't know if he's playing games or whether he really is tired because he didn't do a lot. He just hit the lure and sort of stopped. Now a big fish like that you expect to run hard but he hasn't done it. He's got some huge chompers on him, but he's going to come to the net easy. Now that is a big, big turnwent brim. That's what we came out for today, that's for sure. Wow. That is one magnificent big blue nose brim, and he will go 40 easy. That is what you come to the Derwent to catch, these massive, big southern black brim. There he goes. Off he goes. <laughs> you can just see him underneath the boat. He's using his structure. Well, what a fantastic session that turned out to be here on the Derwent River. We caught those four brim, threw them in the mid-twenties, and that monster at about 40 to the fork. We also managed to find a few good schools of salmon, which provided lots of entertainment, and a couple of tailor. You'll also notice I'm wearing this fantastic hat. It's given to us by Erin at Sewn With Love. You'll also see it's reversible. One print on the outside, and this really cool one on the inside. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming videos, and thank you for watching.